Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Osiris New Dawn tutorial and today we are going to be looking at food and how we can make sure that we have enough food to stay alive on this pretty barren, godforsaken planet. So, uh, we'll cover a couple of things. Uh, the most uh, straightforward and probably the easiest way to get started is just with uh, grilled meat uh, and then we'll look at farming as well as a couple of food items that you can forage. So let's, uh, let's actually get started with grilled meat. Um, if you come to your forge, you will see that uh, there are a couple different uh, recipes that you can cook in here. There is uh, a bunch of different types of grilled meat here. So, um, and you can see I've already got a, a few in my inventory. So we're gonna start off with um, heading out and uh, gathering up some meat that we can then cook. All right, so we'll be back in just a second. Okay, did you hear that? This is one creature we do not want to try to hunt. We're going to try to just get the heck away from him because all it's going to do is kill you if it comes down on top of you and makes for a bad day. Yeah, I know what you mean. All right, so once we've uh, collected up a bunch of meat um, from the various uh, indigenous animals, we're gonna cook a few of them here in the uh, forge, and then we'll go inside and I'll show you how to cook a few of them in the kitchen. All right, so to get started, you're just gonna approach your forge and open it like you normally would. Uh, and then under the craft tab here, we're gonna go down until we get to our grilled meats. And you can see I have uh, in inventory the various uh, animals that we have uh, run into. And so you're just gonna find the one that corresponds to the meat you have, and just like anything else that you're crafting in this game, you're just gonna hold down the mouse button, and you'll see that that went into the inventory here. So we have one of 50 at this point, okay? Uh, and we're just gonna keep going until, so I've got two crab legs you can see over here. Um, where were they? Yeah, so we can just grill those up. And the same with the gnat meat. Uh, and we should also be able to cook this. There we go, skeleopod. All right, that just all ends up here. And we can just move that over to our inventory. And the legs uh, we can use for other crafting, so we won't look at that right now. Um, let's go inside our habitat. And I'll show you, uh, if you craft the kitchen, which is furniture for the habitat, and you can see here that you'll need 12 aluminum, five glass, three lithium, and two wires. Uh, but once you craft it, there are other recipes in here. Um, you can also, you can certainly grill meat uh, in here as well, the same way that you did out in the forge. And there are a bunch of other recipes here that require things like potatoes and stew um, in order to make to make the stew. Uh, I haven't run into these eggs yet, but I'll keep an eye out for them. So that covers um, you know hunting and grilling. Uh, you can also farm, and here I've got um, some farms that I've already uh, created, and here I've got a couple of farms that are ready to go and again 
in the crafting menu. These are under furniture. And there are two types. There's the bin, uh, which you can make with just steel and iron, but it does require a little more involvement on your part. Uh, or the smart bin, which as you can see requires a bit more resources, three steel, four iron, and three circuit boards along with four wires and three batteries. Um, but I've only built the smart bins because uh, it didn't take that long to um, get the resources. And frankly, you know, you can survive on just the grilled meat indefinitely. Uh, this just provides an extra source uh, of food. So if, it, you know, I would just go straight to the smart bin. Um, and you can see here I've got um, six plants going on this side. So uh, let's take a look. What happens is when you walk up to one of these, it says Geo. You just press F to interact with it, and then you have to pick bins one, two, and three. So to start with bin one, we got five berries, and you hit it again. Sometimes you'll get more. Depends how long it's been away from you. Uh, you've been away from it. Bin two, you can see we got some as well. And then B for bin three, five, and then nothing else. Again, sometimes you get more. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, you'll get uh, less. It just depends on how long it's been since you've been here. And, you know, I'm not sure what the logic was behind the, uh, the key assignments. They're not, not in a row next to each other, but uh, nonetheless, that's what they are. So next I'm going to just show you really quick how to actually, um, you know, once you've built these and placed them, uh, you know, how you get these um, set up to, uh, to grow for you. And so far, the berries are actually the only thing I've found um, that I can grow. So, you know, I have baked potatoes and carrot stew, but I can't extract seeds from them. And I haven't found anything else that I can grow uh, in here at the moment. So uh, the first thing we're going to need is um, we're going to need soil to grow anything. And in order to, to create soil, you need human waste and sand. And we're going to need three because we have three bins. So you can see that I still need um, five sand. So we'll go grab that. Let's just grab our five sand. All right, and then if uh, you do need to gather human waste by creating uh, this excrement collector. And so again, that's uh, one of the structures, sorry, utilities here. Uh, it's pretty easy to create. You just need three iron and three aluminum. Um, you, there is a 30 minute cooldown on this one, so it does take a little bit of time to get that one going, but I've already prepped, uh, prepped that for us here. So we go back to the chemistry table, and now we can create our three soil. All right, so let's grab that out of inventory. And we'll just work on this one here. So same interaction, you're gonna press F, but this time, as you can see, these are just filled in. And so you can pick which bin you wanna fill in, bin one, bin two, and bin three. Now, because I have berries in my inventory, I have the option to go ahead and plant them, right? So if I hit bin one, I can now choose to plant berry. All right, and then I can go to bin two, and plant berry, and bin three, and do the same. Uh, so now I've got several growing. Uh, at the moment, I'm gonna keep this one open until I can s figure out if there's any other plants that I can grow. Um, if anybody else has come across uh, how to get uh, carrot seeds or um, you know potato eyes that you can plant, uh, leave me a, you know drop me a note in the comments so um, we can all check that out. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, how you can gather some food, um, or sorry, farm food in a pretty reliable manner uh, and, and consistent manner. 
course, like I said, you're going to be, uh, you know, running into so much combat with the local animals, the indigenous animals, that uh, you probably won't be uh, short on food much, but um, we will also take a look at uh, how you gather the berries, so I'll be right back after I find a few of those. All right, there are some plants that uh, you can actually collect and eat that you can't plant. The sword leaves are one, uh, can be eaten for a small increase in health and nutrition, as you see here. Those are the sword leaves. Um, and also, let's see, more sword leaves. I guess they're just different shades of sword leaves. There's another one out here somewhere. Another type that's out here somewhere. I don't seem to have any in this particular patch, but I'll come back when I found some. Um, but essentially, you can just consume these and you can see, uh, well, I mean, maybe we won't see, but you can uh, just go ahead and eat these and they will give you a plus three nutrition and a plus, th plus three health if you need it. I happen to be full up, uh, whereas the berries only give you a nutrition boost. The sword leaves will help you heal. All right, here's the other one I was talking about. It's the blue blades. And the blue blades will give you three nutrition and three oxygen bonus, whereas the sword leaves will give you uh, health and nutrition bonuses. So depending on what you're looking for, those may be good to collect. Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you is the blueberries as soon as I can find some of those. So I'll be right back. All right, and here finally we have the berry tree. Got a little parasite running around. We have to keep our eye on him. But you can just hit this guy. I think I said blueberry earlier, but it's actually berry tree. You can just whack this guy and you'll get plenty of berries. Uh, and if you bring it back to your farm, then you can uh, just have a pretty reliable supply of food, even if it's uh, you know not a ton per berry. Um, I do have a little trouble finding these suckers. Um, but once you find them, you can just stock up and then you'll be all set for a while. Another fun way to uh, actually gather these is just to shoot them. Shoot the tree and it'll they'll just come down for you. And remember, if you like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe or leave me a comment down below. I do read them all. All right, take care.